Morning guys, it's Joy here, the author of Finding My Pixie Wings. Hope you're having a great morning. Um, following on from my awesome video that I made a few days ago about the Feynman Pole, which was absolutely terrifying, I have to say. Um, it actually had a knock-on effect with my family, which is pretty awesome, isn't it? So because I was fearless and I embraced it and I just went and did it, it made my mum think about also doing something that was fearless. So my mum's in her 60s. She hasn't been in a swimming pool for around about 20 years, I would say. Um, and she's not really, doesn't really like her body shape or body at all. Um, and she made the decision last night that she was going to get into the swimming pool with Scarlett. Now, this is a private swimming pool. So we've got this pool to ourselves, which is great. Um, and she made the decision that she was going to get in and have some fun with Scarlett. And she did, which was so proud of her. But I think the best thing for me was as I was watching her in the swimming pool with Scarlett and Scarlett laughing and giggling and saying, Granny, we should do this more. We don't do this enough. I love playing in the swimming pool with you. Um, she was squirting out and having loads of fun. My mum was just beaming, beaming. You know, that smile where you smile with your eyes, just beaming and having so much fun with this, you know, these, these precious times with Scarlett. And it was just wonderful to watch. And when she got out of the pool, she said to me, Joy, you know, you've got to fight the fear. And that's what I just did. You did it with a pool a few days ago. And now I just did it with some pool. I was like, what? what? Wow. And because I did what I did a few days ago, it, ha it had that knock on effect. And she wanted to do the same thing, which was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, and I said to her, did you have loads of fun? And she said, oh, my God, I had so much fun. I felt like I was a child again. And who cares what anybody else thinks? You know, I've had loads of fun with Scarlett. And then Scarlett got out, which was brilliant. My girl, six years old, uh, more like 16, I would say, her mindset. And she said to me, Mummy, it was so much fun with Granny being in the swimming pool. I'm six and she's never been in the swimming pool with me. And then she said to Granny, so, Granny, what does it feel like when you fight the fear and you do it anyway, Granny? And I was beaming. You know, like, this is amazing. This is my six-year-old. Like, what else is she going to be able to fight? What, what else is she going to, like, going to be able to do with her life and not let that fear take her down, yeah? So I was so impressed. I was so amazed by it. It was just amazing. So what I say to you today, I give you a task. Go and do something. Embrace something. Make yourself really bloody terrified today. Go and do something that you would never do and let your child see it, whether that's just in the supermarket and you say hello to somebody. Let your child see you do that. Let your child know that's acceptable and that's fine to just say hello to somebody. Whether it's, you know, you fancy somebody, go and ask them out on a date. Whether it's getting on a skateboard or roller skates or jumping off a wall or climbing a tree. Do something that's going to make you completely terrified because your child would see it. Your child is watching you at all times. And we, you know, we are the role models. We are the people that they're watching at. They're watching us and they're thinking, right, I want to do that. You know? And my, mu my mum and I showed Scarlett, you know, that she has to embrace the fear. And it's fantastic. So I'll give you that task today to do today. Blah, 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 today to do. And Pixie Love, guys, from France. Take care. Bye.